We are all addicted to speed here, speed mm. in one way or another. Everyone that buys a high lift is uh, buying your dream on, uh, on water. Our ultimate goal for all the products that we are doing, and that is to create an uh, icon. Herzlich willkommen bei Toyota Yachthandel. Mein Name ist René Schönemann und ich habe heute die sehr große Ehre, Sie in die heiligen Hallen von Hydrolift begleiten zu dürfen. Außerdem werden wir ein paar Keyplayern von Hydrolift interessante Fragen stellen. Wir haben bestes Wetter, gute Laune und ich wünsche Ihnen viel Spaß beim Video. Hi Bart. Welcome to us. <laughs> nice to meet you here. Thank you for uh, offering us some minutes to uh, ask you some questions. First one I would like to start with is Eco Group, Eco Design, a big brand like behind Hydrolift. What are like the key elements and concepts that are flowing into Hydrolift of uh, Eco Group, Eco Design, and uh, everything that's that's basically behind Hydrolift? Uh, you know, Eco Group and Eco Design. It kind of all starts here mm -hmm. uh, as uh, as uh, the base of the product design that we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so here at Eco Design we do 50, 60, maybe sometimes even 70 products every year for different kind of customers and different customers. And of course, uh, Hardlift is one of the customers and yeah. they have to go through, you know, product specification and timeline and budget and all, all those kind of things. But back to your question, of course, we are all addicted to speed here, speed in one way or another. Yeah. So we also yeah. want to do kind of quick projects. We know that time is moving, the market is moving. Yeah. So if you are too slow, you will be you know, too late up yeah. on the market. So, so we want to be ahead of that. So I think that is some of the similarities that we try to build into to all of our projects. Okay, okay, very interesting. Thank you for sharing these insights. And of course, the people who know you know that you have a, a large background like in the motorsport, motorboat industry. And uh, yeah, Hydrolift are very high performance boats. Uh, I think there is uh, some link uh, between uh, this background and Hydrolift as well, right? Yes, yeah, so, uh, I mean, we, we, I think that's a good thing about being, you know, uh, engaged in a lot of different uh, environments. Mm -hmm. uh, racing is, of course, one of them. Yeah. Uh, production, lean manufacturing, good uh, uh, handcrafts men here. We have good designers, good engineers. So it's kind of you have to put everything into the the big yeah. uh, big pot and, and and try to do the best out of it when you do products like this. Yes. Um, so, so and and of course if we would only do race boat, mm -hmm. uh, I think it would have been much easier. So, yeah. Uh, okay. But uh, at the same time we have to think about uh, the social elements in the in the product. We have to think about. Uh, you know, uh, secondhand value, we have to think about, you know, there's a lot of things we have to think about, which kind of makes, uh, of course, the whole product development to a kind of uh, compromise. Yeah. We just have to make sure that it's ending up as a positive compromise and not a negative one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, very, very interesting as well. One uh, last and final question, uh, what I'm really like excited to, to know. Hydrolift is definitely uh, one of your uh, more passionate babies, I think. <laughs> um, what was the emotions, what was your feelings when you were able to like be on the uh, first Hydrolift uh, going so fast with uh, those kind of boats on the water? You know, it's always, uh, I don't want to, to put your question down, but yeah. it's, all, it's a little bit, I have the feeling, the same every time we are doing the first test of a new boat mm -hmm. uh, because you can you can uh, simulate you can estimate you can do you know all these kind of pre-tests uh, on paper and in the computer yeah. but uh, when you put the boat on the water for the first time and you do the first really real-time test honestly you don't really know I yeah. don't really know how this is going, how the yeah. boat will behave, if this is going to be kind of something that you have to keep on working a lot to, to, yeah. to make it good good enough. Yeah. Or if you kind of, it's, you know, uh, if you nail it the first time. I, I think that we have never had that nailing the first time feeling because there is always something you have to do better. And that is also the 
So you're really focusing on improving right there. That is kind of the the downside of being a product developer because yeah. uh, it's very very seldom that you that you get kind of satisfied. All the time when you are driving, you know, testing, you always have this kind of dream that you should end up uh, you should have ended up a little bit better than you do. But okay. but back to your question then. Yeah. Yes, of course that was a that was a very special moment and and the cool thing was that also when we started on that project we didn't really know anything about boats okay so and, and then we made the 24 yeah uh, and, the, and the s24 is still a kind of a very popular boat mm -hmm. but we see that uh, the owners of the 24s and the new owners of of uh, pre-owned mm -hmm. uh, 24 they they take that boat very seriously and they take really good care of it so, so, so what we feel is that we have kind of reached our kind of ultimate goal that we have for all the products that we are doing, and that is to create an icon. That's a good feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can totally uh, follow it up and uh, uh, understand it because uh, I'm still uh, from the younger generation, I can say. So it's totally incredible for me to drive the X-Series. I've driven a lot of boats so far, but going that fast uh, on the water and still having this amount of like size, basically, is just uh, a crazy cool thing to have. And uh, for me, uh, the X-Series is uh, already basically an icon. <laughs> good, good to hear. Good so, to hear. yeah, uh, thank you for having time. Thank you. Likewise. See you soon. <laughs> bye bye. Hello, Ger. Hello, Ben. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's start uh, with the first question. So, could you like uh, give me some? idea of how was it possible to achieve this kind of uh, performance the fuel efficiency uh, what like technical features made it possible how did you guys uh, actually manage to uh, get this together with the really great design and uh, features on board you know when uh, Eco Design uh, started up with uh, with Hydrolift it was all about the DNA of, uh, of racing, uh, that was the, the history of, of the older Hydrolift and with Bard's uh, background of uh, high speed racing with cars and bikes, he wanted a boat, a performance boat, but at the same time bring some new features, some new designs and some innovative uh, uh, parts uh, that you know could surprise the, the the new customers, but it was all about having a a, a, a very good ride. It, you know, no it no depends on you having waves or no waves. So if you are five people on board or just one people, one person on board having a good time behind the wheels. Mm -hmm. So it's to 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 we always have 24 degrees two step hulls. Uh, started up with the 24 footer which, which become an icon and now we have more uh, socializing in uh, on board the boat you, we try to bring uh, the fun of driving but at the same time have a safe environment uh, having uh, cool features on board at the same time uh, the design is here uh, the safety is here and uh, you know having a great day on board to, during the whole day it's a uh, very important part of the X series uh, that's uh, our you know latest family mm -hmm. and how challenging is it to uh, like have the performance team uh, against like the the design team i can imagine uh, both of those teams are having a tough time like figuring out uh, uh, how to get uh, their goals done right yeah it's 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 not easy but to uh, to make a boat with one engine, one driver going fast from A to B. That's, you know, pretty uh, easy stuff to do. Uh, but, you know, to make a, a good handling boat that also is supposed to bring either one person or five person have different type of uh, equipment options, one or two or three engines. So you have, you know, you really have to 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 work hard to, with the design of the, the hull and you really need to go out there and try it and, and obviously here in Scandinavia we also have the rough sea so you want to make an all-round 
family racer yes, yes. that can handle all type of uh, uh, of uh, sea and all type of uh, driving. Yeah, thank you for uh, sharing these insights. Uh, it's very interesting for me. Could you like uh, give us uh, some more insights, like uh, how you are uh, letting this like kind of Norwegian culture flow into the whole uh, design process? You know, we we are very proud of the Scandinavian boat building traditions, the high quality of craftsmanship, but also we want to bring in top-notch equipment, you know, new type of design, make uh, our own statement of, of uh, the boating industry and, you know, putting all that together in uh, and using, you know, local or Norwegian uh, suppliers and, uh, and, you know, work closely with them, you know, to, to find the, the best solutions mixed into a very high-tech environment and yeah. create something that uh, a new market out there are looking forward to and I think this package of, of of both socializing but at the same time having a really great time behind the wheels is yeah. uh, something unique with the you know with the Series. And you are mentioning the different uh, companies in the uh, eco group. Um, um, I would like to get a little bit more behind the building process uh, process of uh, hydrolift. So um, I can imagine like going faster than like uh, uh, 60 uh, uh, plus knots, uh, 70 plus knots, or something like that. You really have to make sure that like the the quality and the materials and all of this like are withstanding these tough, very tough conditions. Mm. And what is the, the process behind like uh, uh, choosing the materials that you're offering the customers, uh, eventually testing it and uh, how does this uh, go like? Well, uh, like I was mentioning, we like to have local surprise because then, you know, they can be a part of it. Uh, we mm. can, you know, easily uh, it's easier to develop uh, when you have, uh, you know, short ways of uh, of reaching uh, your partners. Mm -hmm. But as you're saying, we are really, we really need to to focus on having parts that can withstand a lot of g-forces, a lot of, uh, you know, all the impact that uh, a rough sea can to make to the to the boat. Mm -hmm. We know that everyone that buys a hydrolift is uh, buying, you know, a, 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 you know, your dream on uh, on water, and and therefore we need to to not that it only withstand the the, the the rough conditions, but also that it is a beautiful boat for many years to come, and the old classics still shine out there because you know the material is 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 very good. Yeah, and I totally can remember when uh, Tino and myself were at the factory the first time, and I think you had a boat there standing. In, that is like four or five or even more years old and you're telling uh, us that it's actually that old and we were uh, unable to believe it because like it looked so good transparency and authenticity are very important to the to the customers um, how does hydrolift plan to embody these like uh, principles like into the products into the customer sales process how do you ensure to to give the customers of a hydrolift a good feeling with the uh knowledge that we have in-house we are able to not only build you know nice products but also be you know the, maybe ahead of uh, the time of um, several features on board mm -hmm. you know now we are working with uh, with new drive lines we always like to come out with new type of models you know the next boat will be an even better boat than the last one so and and since we have this uh, knowledge over so many years in house and inside the company, I think we are in in the lead of, uh, of making uh, really nice boats, but only uh, but also high quality and also uh, be the one that can uh, lead the way in in, in new uh, new solutions or new uh, new features on board uh, yeah. on, on board the boats. Always when we deliver boats, we will uh, we will like to have some driving, uh, learning uh, the customer how to drive it, and and before he he, he uh, takes it away, he, he should know mm -hmm. how to to use it uh, and also respect it. And uh, you know you should know what to do when you know go over 14 knots. It's uh, when it tie when uh, the boats start to to go really fast. And but you know it's all about learning your new boat and when you can drive it 
you know, you can have much more fun with it and it always will be a safe uh, environment with, with your guests on board. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, final question maybe, um, what uh, uh, can a customer expect from uh, buying a hydrolift like uh, describes it in yeah, three sentences or something like that? <laughs> our slogan is fly without wings and it's more like, you know, our efficient hull is just, you know, on top of the water looking really cool when yes. they're uh, driving. But at the same time, we want, you know, that you to know that you have a quality and safe boat as well. Yeah. And that's why we are delivering, uh, you know, search and rescue vessels and fire vessels because we are working with, you know, people that really need to go out there when people are uh, in need. So. We're learning a lot from that and, and, and try to mix all those things into to a cool and uh, designful and beautiful um, boat. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I can agree with every point uh, you just said. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's a wrap. Um, thank you for having a time. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we are up for the customers now. <laughs>